Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, factor this expression, but it's not going to be your traditional factoring um, based on uh, based on using like my uh, diamond method or so forth. Because when I'm looking into factoring, one of the things I'm always doing is looking to see, is there any square terms? Because if I have square terms, that makes things a lot easier for difference of two squares as well as perfect square trinomial. Um, and what I notice is this is actually a perfect square trinomial. And again, the way to identify that is looking for squared terms in the first and your last term of your trinomial. And y squared is obviously a squared term. That's y times y. But can 25 be written as an integer multiplied by itself to give you 25? And yes, 5 times 5. Now, so to show that um, just because that is a squared term and that's a squared term does not mean it's a perfect square trinomial, though. Remember, the middle term has to be 2 times 1 in that factor. So uh, 2 times 5 is 10. Is our middle term 10? Yes, it's a negative 10, but it's still 10. So since it's negative, I know my factors have to be x minus 5 times x minus 5. Again, negative 5 times negative 5 gives me 25. Oops, that's y's, right? Therefore, y times y gives me y squared. And therefore, I can write this as a perfect square trinomial, write it as a binomial squared, which is y minus 5 squared. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you factor a perfect square trinomial. Thanks.